What's up? Shh. Stop. What's up guys and welcome back to the farm. So as you can see, I'm out at the back pasture and we've done some work. It's all been disked up. And uh, now the cows are back here. They're ready for dinner. But now I'm gonna run around with the same method we did in the last video and drag this behind, see if we can smooth it out a little bit. Because as we disc, it leaves some ruts. So we're gonna smooth it out and then we're gonna seed it with rye. Because as you can see over here, the rye has just shot up and it's doing really well. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. So here we are after it's been dragged. And it did pretty good. And my hands are pretty dirty because the dust was just flying all around. I hope I get to do that again someday and I can get a camera to show you my point of view because it was pretty fun. It was pretty crazy going fast and uh, getting it dragged out. So there it is. Guess we're one step closer to seeding. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. And I know I already said that in this video, but I had to do it again because I had to do it into the new camera here that I got for Christmas. Thanks, Mom, Mom and Dad. And yeah, better quality videos now. So right now, it feels really weird to hold this, but we're going to go uh, out and feed the cows. So I can take you with me to do that because I don't think I've ever showed that on the channel. So see you then. Okay, so here we are. Got the food. And there's the cows. They're very much ready to eat. They're gonna chase us down the fence. I hope I'm in the frame. I've never done this before and I can't really see. And they are already know what's happening. Get back. Might have to pause for a second so I can do this. And there you have it. There's the little guys coming in too. They, oh, there you go. He's running. They love this stuff. Where'd he go? Here he is. <laughs> Hi, buddy. And then over here we took down a huge tree that was mostly dead. There's a little bit of green left, but it was mostly dead, so it's down. We cleared most of it out, and now what I think should happen here is we we need a nice campfire. We have the big pile back there to burn brush and stuff, but we want a campfire that we can sit out and 
roast marshmallows and stuff. So I think we should put a nice little campfire in here. But that's going to be a big project for some other time. So new day. And as you can see here, we've got our first thing in the garden. We planted some garlic and I'm not entirely sure, but I believe that might actually be garlic growing. I might be wrong. That might just be a grass. Um, but yeah, we planted a little roll of garlic here. Well, not a little. There's quite a bit in here. And it's a, uh, I said uh, it grows through the winter. That's not right. I looked it up and it just needs the cold to uh, start the process. I, I don't really understand all of it, but it gets it ready and then grows through the spring and ready for harvest in the summer. So it's going. First crop in the garden just a little bit we still got a lot more to do but yeah first thing in the garden so we got five new good posts in on this side and now we just have 15 more to go up that side and this whole side of this pasture pretty much this whole the right pasture will be done except for the middle but we're not too worried about that and i'm pretty certain that this is garlic because Pretty sure that's a garlic growing. So we're gonna cover it with hay though, because um, it's supposed to be cold tonight, so hopefully that it won't freeze and hurt it. And we've also got some of this cleared out a little bit over here. This is more of my grandparents' project, but I've been helping them a little bit, pull some vines out. It's very viney and a lot of little trees and stuff, and just mostly vines and twigs. Uh, but we're getting it cleaned out and cleared and there's some junk here we got some cinder blocks and some fencing we pulled a big tire out there but we're getting it cleaned up and dragged over the burn pile is getting huge i was going to burn today but it was pretty windy uh, so we'll probably have to do that another day but it's a giant pile over there and uh, some of the vines or most of them i don't know are uh, muscadine berries which is pretty cool it's basically a wild grape which is cool and i'd like to try and save some but the uh, burn pile is getting quite large and and we got to get that burned up because it's getting big and stuff's being added to it every day there's kenny so here in the greenhouse i've got uh I snipped a few pieces off that were pulled out that had some roots of the muscadine vine still on them. Got three and got them soaking in water and wait till they start getting some new growth on them and then we'll put them in some dirt. And uh, hopefully we can transplant them. So eventually I'd like to have them in the garden. Not quite sure how, some kind of trellis or something that we can manage how they grow so we can pick them and eat them and make jam and juice and jelly and whatever from them. And speaking of the greenhouse, we've added spearmint in and some rosemary. And our cucumbers are starting to come up. And here we have a satsuma seed which is basically, in my opinion, it's a cross between a tangerine and an orange. That's kind of how it tastes. Not my favorite, but that's growing. They grow good here. It's kind of a state fruit, I guess. I don't know. And we have two lime seeds. They've been in there a while and I haven't seen much growth off of them, but we'll see. Most of this stuff seems pretty good and healthy and yeah, doing good. And I think that's kind of it for tonight. I guess we'll pick it up tomorrow in the video. Uh, Got to go do some stuff to close up the farm for the night. And, uh, see you tomorrow. So welcome back. New day. And we're out here at the burn pile and getting ready to light it up. So let's get to it.
So welcome back guys, it's a couple days later and I just wanted to come out and record because I'm about to start the first step. I don't know if it's the first step, but it's the first thing we're doing here to my house. I'm going to get up on the roof and there's a bunch of crap up there that needs to be cleared off. So I'm going to blow it off with the leaf blower, uh, maybe use the broom to push it off. And yeah, so we're going to get up there and go for it. So there you have it, it's cleaned off. It's a couple days later from when I first started, but yesterday I finished cleaning over there. It was a little difficult because there were some branches on that tree that were hanging over the roof, but got them cut off and was able to get it all cleaned up. And uh, yeah, still got the other side to do, but I think that's where I'm gonna leave this video today. And I will say it is the first video of the brand new year which is pretty incredible that it's already the year 2021. Um, and I know that when a lot of people look back on the last year, 2020, they're going to think of it as a lot of pain and frustration. But for me, it was a really incredible year. Uh, the Lord really did a lot of cool things for my family. And by no means am I saying it was an easy year, but it was really good. And... I'm excited to see where he takes us in this brand new year and what crazy and veterous thing we'll be headed out on. So thanks you guys for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.